that tap. Sounds like your assessment of Remy Duval was spot on. Listen to this. Look at what he's doing to us. Our neighborhood, our homes. Half of one refused to sit by and watch as some rubber-lipped nigger runs roughshod over everything we hold dear. And what is it you hope to accomplish? I will strangle that motherfucker! That's what I'll accomplish! I apologize. Shouldn't use that kind of language. He is egging you on, Remy. You are much too important to be caught up in all of this. Is the situation unfortunate? Of course it is. But nothing he is doing changes anything. Let Sal's men handle it. Sal's men? Olivia, the people of this neighborhood expect me to protect them, not some greased-up wop assholes. No, 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 I need to respond to this. He'd send a message to those niggas and the guineas that here in Frisco Fields, we take care of our own. This is a mistake, Remy. You could jeopardize everything we have been working toward. Our very way of life is at stake, and you think I give a goddamn about some casino? Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal, told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them, get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick, Olivia's next. But getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options, come up with a plan. Okay. I'm going to look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? Personal hygiene is very important.
Angel of Death. Don't leave nothing left. Need a new vantage point. <clears throat> Duval, where is he? Shit, man. You win. I'll spill. Guess I'll have to start without you.
We stand here in the ruins of the last century. It was right in this spot where my great-great-great-grandfather joined his brothers in the defense of Louisiana against northern aggression. Now, he died in this spot to protect the virtues and the values of his people. He gave his life to uphold the liberty of his state and to hold back the ascension of the mongrel tide. Now, it is from that tide. One of their numbers is out there, right this very minute. Slitting the throats of white men and women, right now. I know what some of y'all are thinking. Fuck this city, Remy. Fuck the dealers and the pushers. Fuck the thieves and the racketeers. Fuck the politicians who take our vote. Don't care two shits about the common man. Fuck them, Remy. Fuck them, Remy. Mm. Fuck the niggas. You fuck those unwashed, deep-based, big-lipped, bug-eyed savages who grow fatter and lazier off everything the white man has ever made. Fuck the wops who are twice as bad for thinking they can walk upright with the white folks. <laughs> I've seen them, y'all. I have seen these, uh, these invaders slouching through our city. Hands out for handouts, stealing everything else. You know what it makes me want to do? It makes me want to let them burn it all to the goddamn ground again. That's right. You know, we could do that. We could just give up. Let it go. Hell, give it to them, even. We could. But I won't. No, no, I love this town. I love this country a little too damn much to give up. My great, great, great grandfather didn't, and I sure as hell won't. Will you? Hell no. Hell no. Now, if the wops and the hippies and the communists and the fucking niggas want to take this city, then they're going to have to fight us for it. You tell them, Remy. They want to send their killers into our neighborhoods after us? Huh? Well, I say we respond in kind. That's why tonight we're going down to Delray Hollow. Every fucking one of us. And we're going to show them what happened. when you go to war with true Americans. And hell, after that, we gonna see who wants to fuck with the white man. Burn it down! Burn it down! Burn it down! over here, boys. That nigga son of a bitch got an ambulance. Get him! Patty waste. Boys, done!
That's him! Let's go! This is the way! You ain't out. Frisco Fields is one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn nickels. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on! Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing. Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? 
In order for the wheel to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Stephen is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga, that's their job. Had me out there, fucking ask me where I got my car, where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. If your country nigga ass can't carry out a couple of drinks, what good are you?
Been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So, do they have a suspect? Now to one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life we hold dear to Remy. <laughs> You want to come over to watch the game on Saturday? Hmm, okay. She says I don't talk to her enough. Like I can get a word in edgewise. Whatever you say. <coughs> you're right, you're right. Makes it easier to see what they're working with. Goddamn right. <clears throat> hey, I've never actually bring seen that a bottle nephew over here. I hear there's some money. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy you. died. The problem with that crowd is they've convinced themselves that being wealthy means that they have value. Look at me. I'm rich as Midas, and probably the least essential person on this block. We Which find that Sean who killed Remy, no he's gonna wish he was dead. Rich, right. Get over get here with that down. bottle, man. Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. The fight? Nah, I didn't see it. I want to watch two coons mix it up. I can do that any time in the hollow. Oh, come on now. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. It's all right. He's the resting with Jesus now. The boy's an absolute terror in the kitchen. But he fills out his swim trunks like an absolute champion, so I think I'll keep... Mm-hmm. I mean, every last goddamn oh, dime is gone. Yeah, you, with the bottle. Jesus. What am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right My now, condolences. it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Shame we had to let her go. She's been with us since our boy was so in diapers. It. But you tell me, what was she thinking? Letting her son into our pool like that. First, it makes me wonder what she's been up to behind our backs. But more than that, what kind of ideas has she been putting into my son's head? Whatever you say. Big. Big old man, dingo nigga.
Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Men on the moon? I could give a shit. Because they're all going to be white. Fuck them. True here. Damn straight. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, you see that? Me, him. We're all connected. <gasps> Do you see light trails? See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. These people are out of their minds. Yes. I see him. I see Remy. No, wait. Oh, I am Remy. He's possessed me. Oh. Something is wrong. Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? If it's all of them, they've all come down with some kind of affliction. <laughs> That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Don't end you, pal. Shoot that bastard! I ain't going out like that. Goddamn shooting gallery! Hit him from the other side! Not letting me move!
There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. There ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Well, maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. Where's DeGarmo? DeGarmo? They have me out in a building. Down by the water. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. I ain't asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing!
Cocksucker! You to my dogs!
I'll flush him out. That's where we see him. Spot us up. Get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Uh, okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh God. He's dead. Christ! My hand is ruined. I barely even knew Remy! Just let me out here! One of these cops can help! Gun. Please stop the car. I want to get out. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just want to go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? Gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the gummo's lawyer's gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to. Force them to make this right. It takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante, ask him. Fuck him! 
The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now bring in the commission. They're gonna want to cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. <laughs> yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Oh, hey there, pal. How are you? I'll put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. You got a plan, a reason you're working things the way you are, and I respect that. After busting my ass on the last district, I came in and took care of half of this one. I see no reason I can't handle the whole thing. You the boss for a reason. You got two ways to go here. And while I would prefer you lean towards us, I'd not presume to know what you're thinking here. I'm glad to hear we got Marcano's cocksuckers on the run, and I'm willing to look past the fact that you didn't call me about this action if you just give me the turf altogether. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. A nation once again. A nation once again. And Ireland long a province be a nation once again. I'm towing the line, Lincoln. That's gotta mean something. Can't go wrong here, brother, as long as you lean my way. <laughs> Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? Sammy raised you right, lad. Trust your instincts. This one's all you, Bert. And what, pray tell, do you propose I say to my men who put their lives on the line for you? Forget it. There's nothing to be said, nothing that justifies it. This is just the way it goes, lass. We don't always get what we want. If I'm being honest, I think you just made a big mistake. I got guys putting their asses on the line for you, and they expect some kind of payback. So far, all they got is an ice cold fuck you. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. 